Happy Monday, fellow furniture dorks. I'm Teresa with Rave Home Collection. And I am Melissa Mara with Rave Home Staging. Welcome, welcome. Today we are prettying up some suitcases. We are. Which I think you guys have done before, but we're doing a little different take yep. on them. While Teresa was gone, Sue and I did, oh, can you get the, the radio? Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh. We're gonna be jamming here back behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, while Teresa was gone, we did some transfers mm -hmm. on some suitcases, painted them and did some transfers. And today we thought you'd bring, we same thing, idea of suitcases, mm -hmm. but a little bit different twist on them. Yeah, I've never done a suitcase before. This sounds fun to me. So she is going to still do a transfer, but first she's going to do some bungalow chuck. Yes. So I'm going to be using, um, bungalow 47 paints today. Um, and of course, our Klingon brushes. And we love Klingon brushes here because they clean themselves. So we're gonna base paint this whole um, suitcase and clawfoot tub, which is the nice neutral. And then we're gonna buffalo check with our French toile, which is kind of like a, it's not duck egg blue, it's a French toile. Yeah, the blue it's, got a little, it's, got a, it's more of a gray blue. Yeah, so. it is. And then you can snuck this in on me. Then we're yeah. gonna do the buffalo checker. Like I said, it's gonna be kind of all over. Good luck with that with me because that should be fun. And this is a mesh stencil, so it's pretty easy. Yeah. Um, my idea of lining up, though, we'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. But it's just paint. And then I guess after that, we're going to put a redesigned by Prima transfer on top of that to mm -hmm. give it some fanciness. And so on mine, fun. I am going to be using General Finishes Flat Out Flat to decoupage some old book pages to this suitcase. And then afterwards, I am going to be using the... Um, <clears throat> the Maker Studio, my favorite, the bee. my favorite uh, mesh stencil, which is the giant bumblebee, the queen bee, the if queen you will. bee. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And so these are going to be um, another nice little matched set, sort of. Yeah, but yeah, um, with a little bit of a twist of what we did last time. We want to continue to give you ideas mm -hmm. on what you can transform pieces that you can find. And one of the reasons on mine that I'm decoupaging instead of painting is because mine and like hers, hers is pretty nice. It's yeah. a little, it's it's a little knocked up, but it's... it's a paint you can't cover in Right, but mine actually, this is kind of a, almost a papery fabric over it. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's, it's almost like a papery fabric over it, and it's got some rips and tears. Um, so like a really thin leather maybe, if yeah. it's even actually leather. Um, uh, and anyway, so it's got some things that just, if I add anything liquid to it, um, any any paint, any level of paint, it's probably gonna disintegrate it more, yeah. and that doesn't seem like a good idea. And here I've got some real wear spots. And it will fix the hole or cover the hole. Yeah, it's not gonna fix or cover the hole. So really, what I'm gonna do is by decoupaging old paper, I'm gonna give it some more strength and cover and repair those holes. Um, it, yeah, I'm adding more moisture, but it'll still actually be a lot more sturdy than it was before. And so I'll be doing that on the sides here too, but I'm gonna do my best not to get it all over the leather. Okay. And I am going to get it all over the leather because I'm just... Yeah, your leather is in a lot better shape. Yeah. Yours is a hard case. And mine's, yeah. a, and mine's still a hard case, but it's it's just got bubbles everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So. These will be cool when they're done. Yeah. And by the way, cat ears today, <laughs> just cat so ears. you know, we're making Sue happy. Yay. And hopefully you all happy. Yeah, so. apparently we lost our, our bling. And with our losing our bling, we lost some of our fun. Yeah, so we're fun again. So we're fun again. It's Cat Ear Monday, people. That's right. Can't Who wait for, knows what Wednesday will I be? I can't wait for 80s dance party, mimosa drinking, tiara wearing, fab furniture Friday. Woo! 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 Oh, I said that one breath. Can I have a can opener? Ooh. Or a pair of scissors. I can have a can opener. Yes. Nicole Gaffney is watching and she says, ooh, nice on the suitcases. Nice. And Natalie Spencer says, meow. Meow. Oh. All right, I'm gonna stand up and do this because I'm short and yeah, and I'm just you're doing a little more intricate work. I don't know if it's to... intricate, but um, yeah. So I'm because I'm using top coat as decoupage. I'm not as worried about a little bit of moisture. Usually, I don't, I don't use the Klingon when I top coat mm -hmm. because I don't want the water, which we store ours in water. I don't want it on there, and I considered using a chip brush, but then I thought I'd have to pick all those stupid little fibers out. Yeah, that's the only bad thing with those. I mean, they're they're a good brush for certain applications, but I mean, you just gotta watch because they're also inexpensive. They're not meant to be a crazy, you know, 
super awesome brush. So. Right. So I'm just going to go on here and I'm going to start just Ooh. basically top coating. I like how this paint feels on this. Yeah. It feels on nice. It's looking really nice. Yeah, this is pretty. They can't see it at all. But... No, they can't. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, you'll see it in a second here. It looks like that. <laughs> there you go. All right. I'm going to work quick here so I can get around the front and show you. I guess I could just do that too. Hold on. Oh no, Natalie Spencer says I fell cleaning the shower, so I'm watching you. Oh my at the goodness. ER. She's getting stitches. That oh, is not no. good. Oh, That's... Natalie, feel better. You're not Sorry, supposed Natalie. to do that. Oh, I don't know. Do I leave this? Should I put this facing outward or inward? <laughs> outward. Outward, okay. Let's be sassy. We have our ears on. That's we have our we ears on. We'll be sassy. Okay, let's do it. Can you all see good now? Okay. So, you know, decoupage, you lay it down, and then you basically paint right over it, and it helps it adhere. It also may slightly yellow the paper, and that's quite and the age is perfectly good. Yeah, for sure. We like all the old stuff. We try and make the new look old around here. Isn't that funny how that works, too? Yeah, it is. So you're using your top coat as your decoupage I'm medium? I'm using my top coat as my decoupage medium, which I have done before. Mm -hmm. I did drawers. I used to do drawers like this. Neat. Okay. Things you can do with. I used to like to do interior drawers this way. Oh, yeah. Side of drawers is nice too, like that. Yeah, I guess. yeah. But if I ever had really yucky, yucky, yucky drawers, this was always a good solution to not have to get my fingers all dirty. That's cool. All right, there's the front. And I usually do a couple coats of the top coat too because um, it provides more protection okay. for the day. It's not quite as thick as you know some of the products out there. Hey, but if it works, I mean I've used that in decoupage with napkins and just I mean you can decoupage the possibilities are endless really. All right. So how was everybody's weekend? Who's watching us? Who else is on there? Now Teresa, you're getting ready to move. How is that coming along? Um it's coming along. <laughs> We're kind of boxing up little by little. Um, probably mid-July is the time frame that we sign our lease, so what's nice is I currently have a storage unit that I paint out of, and I'm going to keep it through the end of July, so as I box things up, take a good storage unit, and just move everything from there when we're all done, and that way we can clean as we go. Well, that's handy. This yeah. leather is sucking up all of my stuff, so I'm going to have to actually paint the pages, I think. Oh, being sassy, is it? It is being sassy. Now you'll notice I'm painting right over the hardware and everything, the little clips that attack, you know, that open and close the suitcase. Um, we can just like wipe the stress over that if we want to see that come back through. But I'm doing this because I'm just putting paint on the whole thing. It'll be much easier to wipe the stress and let some detail come through than it would be to try and not paint any little bit of this hardware. So I'm so a lazy painter. And one of the things with decoupage that's important whenever you're trying to do this is you really have to be sure that whatever you're putting on is saturated, that it's not just the piece. If, it, if, the, if it's not getting into the fibers, like in this case of the papers, it's just not going to stick. And this, this very dry, papery, leathery stuff mm. that's on here is just sucking it right up. It thinks you're trying to like make it something make it healthier nice. or something. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not, so. So I need to make sure that I'm painting my pages, I guess, to... Okay. Well, you kind of got a ripple on that, that first page. And something. you know, I don't mind a ripple. I actually kind of tried to throw a couple ripple in there because, I don't know, I think that's sort of the fun of decoupage is... You just don't know how the paper's going to lay and it'll rip a little or... Yeah, and, and a lot of times I'll rip the pages so that... You don't want to sort of perfect. Yeah. perfectly placed. This paint, let me just tell you, this goes on fantastic on this. Like, look how smooth that looks. I don't think I'm gonna need more than one coat, to be honest with you. But we'll see. Okay, you can stare and I'll go at the front while I do the back. Ooh. Ooh. I'll go away. Uh, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. You guys are such dorks. Perfectly imperfect. That's right. That's gotta be a thing. We need to like have t-shirts made. We need a million t-shirts now, Miss Sue. We're gonna have to look back at all of our videos and decide all the things that we said, oh, we need that on a t-shirt. Yeah, and then make Heather make them. Yeah. <laughs> right. Nicole Gaffney needs to keep coming up with some slogans for us, some sayings. Good, let's do it, keep it up. We'll wear a t-shirt today with a different slogan on it. I mean, that would be fun. It would be. Because then everybody would wonder like, Oh, what's your t-shirt going to say this yeah. time? What kind of tiara are they going to wear? And then maybe we can make them up and if they're popular, we can sell them. Well, there you go. 
I love, like, um, again, because I love to watch YouTube. And I stay away from YouTube because my brain would send me down a wormhole of foreverness and I would still be there right now. You will never sleep again. I probably yeah. would. I mean, that's one of the like reasons that. why I don't sleep. Yeah. You know? um, but I love watching Evan and Caitlin, and their, I really feel like I need their Words Are Hard shirt. Definitely. Words are hard. Words are hard. It's just a black <laughs> shirt that says words are hard. <laughs> Their shirts are great. Yeah. That and the black kitty in the spacesuit. Yeah. Jube. The Jube. cat's name is Jube. That's really precious. And that's their supervisor. Stop. You need to stop. You've cat to be kitten right now. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah. I'm just gonna hide behind the suitcase now. All right, Nicole. We can't we can't use junk in the trunk because we got a store named Junk in the Trunk here. Yeah, there's in the Jacksonville area. Yeah, there's, yeah. Of which Teresa has been here. Yes, that's my buddy Brooke. It's a great store. Great store. But not better than ours. Not, not, oh, I mean, come on now. Brooke is wonderful. It's just different. It's just different, exactly. Different locations, different things, which is nice to have stuff like that. So you get a selection. And our selection is pretty great. And, hmm, let's see, how many minutes are we into this? Painted the bracelet. That's what I'm talking about. Who was it that we were watching and we were like the other night soon? Oh, that was Jamie Ray. That one's oh, got a Ray was so covered in paint the other night. I didn't think anybody got more paint on him than you. <laughs> well, I'm actually trying to be careful too. You never know it, but I know. That woman paints everything in sight. She does. She is really fast too. Yeah, I, yeah, and it looks good. Like if I painted that fast, it would look like a hot freaking mess. But, all right, let me get away from you a little bit. I'm gonna turn this. Do you take it away from me? Size. I don't want to get away from you, but I don't want to slap paint on you. I'm so sad. Don't be sad. I'll be back. This, I love how this paint is going on here. It's like sucking it up. You know what? Let's see. Here's my. Oh, that's looking neat. That's really pretty. All right. And then when this is done, oh, I can do the bottom too. Then um, I'll just get the hot gun on it and give it a quick dry. I feel like this is probably going to dry kind of quick painting on this material and speaking of Jamie Ray actually mm -hmm. uh, I am in her business coaching session for the store uh, I do quite well on my own on staging um, and I actually mentor other people in staging business but on the store you know I'm always looking for creative ideas she's been doing it longer and she does a lot of social media that I'm still um, a lot of it I know how to do but like I'm new on YouTube and stuff like that so anyway this month she is doing a challenge for her group members, of which again, I am a member. And so there is going to be a collaborative event and we are releasing a video that will be part of that collaborative event. It will be on our YouTube channel, uh, which is youtube.com forward slash uh, Rave Home Staging. And that is the only place that you'll be able to catch that video. It will not be available on Facebook. Cool. It's a little fancy. So, okay. when, now when is this happening, did you say? It is, it will be, um, it'll go live first thing on the first, so oh. Tuesday. Okay. Oh, well, Wednesday. Wednesday. Right? Because today's the 29th. Right? Okay, Wednesday. Okay, okay. I don't want to make you, threw me for a loop there, girl. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, you're good. Right. Oh, and Wednesday, we have a special announcement. Yes. And you'll catch live. How about that? What are the chances that it's all on our live? Good. I'm gonna dry this and then I'm gonna flip it and do the underneath. I mean, I don't really have to do that right now, but I just want to get it all painted. But let me just give it a quick zhuzh with the hot gun and make sure it's nice and dry. Oh my god, and I don't know if I told you, but I was watching a video the other day. Sue and I were watching a video, <laughs> and there was a lady on there, and she used both the word zhuzh and amaze balls within like 10 minutes of each other. Because she's my spirit person. I am like, what? She was a Jersey girl, so I figure it's got to be like a Jersey, like a northern thing. thing. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is happening here? <laughs> what bizarro world am I living in? I'm telling you, it's a word. The word exists, and I do use maze balls like all the time. And we know the word exists because John had to look it up. Yeah. <laughs> all right, now your video. Nicole wants to know, is it going to be a DIY video? It is going to be a DIY video. And then also, do you use a glaze over the decoupage to antique it? 
Uh, I could, uh, and maybe I'll do that because we have some amazing mm -hmm. glazes. Uh, I yeah, hadn't, nice. Yep, I hadn't thought about doing that to be honest. Uh, I'll consider cool it. Idea. I'll consider it. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's yellowing really quick. Yeah, which I love. I kind of love that too. And I love these little random illustrations. Little, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I, I, when I've been finding illustrations, I've been putting them pop up. I love it. And, and Natalie apparently is a Pennsylvania girl and she uses those phrases too. Good job, Miss Natalie. I knew I liked you for a reason. What part of Pennsylvania? I think we talked about this. I think. I can't remember what you said, but I, I think we did talk about that. And I'll probably need another little touch-up coat on this, yeah. but I'm just gonna get it good and dry enough. Yeah, somebody's gotta do some thrifting for Wednesday. We yeah, have that. Gotta. That will be me. Go. Go. <laughs> I gotta go plan this afternoon. Let's go. Maybe we should send Sue on her own and see if she comes back. Sue is always <laughs> ready to craft. I'm always ready to craft. I just. She felt about calling you this weekend. I really did. I was really considering on Saturday. I mean, I, because I'm moving, like right now I paint in my storage unit and I paint smalls and everything in there and I have stopped looking and buying things right now until I move because I don't want to have to move them twice and let me just tell you it is difficult. That's a lie because I did go to Goodwill this weekend <laughs> but I didn't see anything. Oh and Anna bought some great stuff in Bay. Oh she did. Anna, Anna bought in some nice why stuff. Why do I ask her for time? I don't know. Does she have an Anna also in the staging yeah. business? Yeah Anna, one of the ladies that works here at the store brought in some Super cute items that we'll be putting on the floor today or tomorrow morning. One Tommy of them Nagel might be too. Who? I'm sorry, Tommy Nagel. Hi. That was one of Paige's friends when she was a little kid. Aww. Well, hello. Thanks for watching. And now she has little kids. Aww. Like, isn't that crazy? That's so crazy to me. Yeah. All we did was a mom. All the little tiny tops that I used to coach in AYSO soccer a hundred years ago. Now some of them have kids of their own. Craziness. But not my son. No, no. Not for a long, long time. Nicole Gaffey says she needs some help with uh, bat inspirations for baskets. Oh, me too, actually. We should collaborate and try and figure something out. An easy thing to do would be just paint them, but, you know. You can put glue stuff on them. You can add ribbon. You can add shells. You can create little bolts for the handles or something. The molds, that's true. Yeah, we were all thinking about that. Yeah. I shall mold that about and then perhaps look at some Pinterest inspiration. Yeah, because there's always a ton of baskets with good pricing at Goodwill's and Fans, and I just never know what the heck to do with them. How are you liking my little, uh, little experiment here? Precious. I like it a lot. All right, before I, oh, that's not quite dry, and you know why I know that? Because it's all over my hands. <laughs> you know, I, I can't. All right, Natalie is off to get stitches and shots. See you later. Oh Watch the rest of the show tonight. Oh, oh. Bye. Sending love and good vibes to you, exactly. my sweet oh. girl. Feel better. Oh. Well, cut that stuff out. Cleaning is dangerous. That's why I refuse to do it. Is that why? <laughs> <laughs> and here I thought it was a silent argument with my husband that was why. <laughs> Which is not always silent. All right, so. You know what? I can always paint the bottom. After, but if you wanted to. After live. We're just going to do a little bit of this where you guys can kind of see what it is going to be. I'm just going to do a quick little second, not a full second coat because this coverage, I don't know if you can tell, it's great. But just there's a little bit of spots on top that I just want to give it another once over. I'm just happy to stay there, so I'll leave it. Yeah, I've sort of tried to paint both sides of this with the this instead of the 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 um, suitcase because it just was uh, it was well. thirsty. Yeah, it sucked that right up, didn't it? Seriously thirsty. 
But I do, when I'm decoupaging, I do like to kind of make sure everything is going in random directions. Everything gets filled, but you know, I want to be sure that nothing is just like all misfit exactly on there. there. Yeah. And I'm really okay with some creases and what have you. This is what I call this one. Perfectly imperfect. That's right. You know, and that gives it a surefire, you know, bet that nobody else is gonna have something like it. Like that's what I love about DIY things. Is it's your own spin on things. Mm -hmm. And like a million more of them somewhere. But keep it unique. Exactly. I'm telling you, there's t-shirts galore going on here, Miss Sue. T-shirts. I should be galore. taking notes. You should be. Why aren't you? Yeah. Miss Sue. You know why? Because she's too busy being super painter and painting that pretty pink dresser back there. She actually painted a lot. She did really, and she started with another piece. Like, I don't even know who this Miss Sue is anymore. I don't either. It's crazy. <laughs> Not only that. But the other piece, which was really disgusting. Yes. She, which... she used one of those new products that we're going to talk about on Wednesday mm -hmm. uh, on it and videoed it. Oh, you videoed it too, Miss Sue? Oh, yeah. All right. All right. So that'll be a video. That will be good. Are you guys excited to hear about this new announcement? Yeah. Just going to keep teasing a little more about it. So we'll be on Wednesday, normal time, 2 o'clock. Maybe we'll end it with that, or should we start it with that? I don't know. It depends on what you want to do that day. Well, let me yes. decide that. I realize it's your thrift haul day, but you tend to paint things for thrift haul. Mm -hmm. Don't say too much. Don't say too much, Miss Sue. No All earlier right. deals. No earlier deals. All right, so this is just me doing a dance. <laughs> this is my don't touch the suitcase in the wet parts dance. Don't touch the suitcase in the wet part stands. It's probably an 80s song. Me. We can turn it into one. We can create no. our own TikTok music and dances. Oh, God. I nobody still wants, Nobody it. wants that. Everybody wants that. Nobody wants that. Everybody wants, wants, wants nobody that. Nobody wants that. People, chime in. You know you want that. You want to dance. I can promise you, you don't. No, you don't want to see it anyway. Right. Well, I mean, they might, but only to laugh at us. It, it sure isn't going to be because I'm some kind of Janet Jackson up here. That's why I watch TikTok. <laughs> yeah, but those people actually dance. Like they're, well, I shouldn't even say that. No, no. Some of them are like a hot mess. And I'm Which like, I guess the ones I've fine. seen. Uh, Nicole they, wants it. We want dancers. They were not so much oh. better than us. Oh. If I dance, it'll be by Look, accident. You just want us humiliated. I we do that help. plenty well on our own, thank you, without a dance being involved. We can, we can get the whole staff doing it. We can have like a little line dance across the floor. The lack of rhythm that I have is is frightening. Like it's literally, it's frightening. I have one little 80s high school girl dance, my little step, <laughs> and that's it. I still can't even do the electric slide. Oh, I can't do any of that stuff. So. John does the electric slide amazingly. Maybe we should get him dancing. Well, Patrick's got good rhythm too, maybe. We all know deep down in his soul he's a dancer, so maybe the guy should come in and do a dance. Could there you be. go. All right, I'm the you men are brave. <laughs> yeah, they don't care. They don't care if they look silly, which we shouldn't care either, but, but somehow we do. Well, I kind of do. Mm -hmm. All right, giving y'all some noise one more time so I can start on my mesh stencil. How are you doing over there? This time you are way ahead of me. I know. This thing just, I mean, it's going to take a little bit longer than I thought it would to dry. Now I don't need to top coat this before I do my stencil, is that right? Just make sure it's been dry? Yes. Okay. Well, that I can do. <laughs> Nicole says she's like a lame on Seinfeld. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I was making that reference to my eldest daughter the other day, actually. Um, I was watching clips from my youngest daughter's wedding. So we had a little, a little uh, video preview done and Matt, by Matt Leatherberry and every once in a while it shows up in my YouTube feed <laughs> and I watch it because, I mean, how can I not? It's my daughter's wedding. Oh, for sure. And then I see my daughter with her and she looks so freaking stunning. Yes, but um, dance. Uh, She's just dancing there. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, Lily can dance. 
Yeah, so you're saying this is stage kennel. Lily can dance. Paige has a unique style. <laughs> Very similar to Elaine Oh my. Alright, I don't want to dry that too much because it looks like it's starting to. We're making fun of Paige this weekend about that. Yeah. Paige doesn't know it though. No, but Paige doesn't have Facebook. So she's still on. Good for her. Good for her. Concentrate on mainly getting this one side dry that I'm going to be doing the buffalo check stencil on. I'll do a little bit on the other side though. Yeah, she doesn't know now and she still will. And don't forget, this Friday is our Fab Furniture Friday Part 2. Right, right, where we're going to be giving you. Um, the finished product on upholstering those beautiful chairs that we painted last week. And I got the second one finished. So, I mean, as far as all painted and all that, top coated. So they are ready. They will be done when they are done being upholstered. Sweet. Put them right on the floor. That's right. Unless you guys see them and you get first dibs and say, I want them, call me up. Give me your credit card information and they're yours. They're going to be 225 225 a piece, which I think is a great price for those chairs. They're they are gorgeous. really beautiful. And when you see the fabric, holy cow, it just so complements that color. It's so beautiful. All right. Sorry for all the noise, folks. I'm almost done here, I think. And I'm starting this check, like just maybe this face, right? Just kind of from here down. Yep. Okay. I got it. Looking good. They're both looking good. Looking good. Are you going along the whole suitcase or just your front? I am going to do along the whole suitcase. Okay. Because I have lips on both sides, so okay. I don't want those lips to... I got you. All right. Because this isn't just decorative in this case. For me, this is, this is also a way to protect the suitcase. You know, it is decorative, but it's also a way to keep it from falling apart. Okay. Or somebody's going to have to get rid of it. All right. Keeps it out of the landfill and makes it attractive. I'm only going to do the stencil on one side. Okay. All right. So I touched the handle. It was not dry at all, which I don't really need it to be. I'm going to do one more quick little zhuzh with this gun. It's a little damp down here, and then I'm ready to put my stencil on. You want to do your stencil from this side of the table so the camera can watch yeah, you. Yeah, I'll it. turn it around facing front so you guys can see me do it. I'll bring you the little squatty chair. It should be fun because I have not used this one before. The, I've refrained from using this one because it requires lining things up, and my brain doesn't line things up. So, worst case, it looks like crap. I paint over it and try it again, but I think It'll be good. I feel I feel confident. All right, so it's pretty dry there. What book are you using? Nicole wants to know. Um, you know, uh, this particular chapter of this book, is she asking what book? <laughs> this particular chapter says mirror, mirror on the wall. Hmm. I think that could be. It seems to be some kind of beauty book. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall is the name of the book. Oh, it's the name of the book. Okay. Mirror, mirror on the wall. How appropriate is that? Interesting. Yeah. Mirror, mirror. Right. That's funny. This one's all about uh, how much you should weigh for your height hmm. and frame. Right, <laughs> well, then I feel really good about ripping it into shreds. <laughs> all right, kids. Oh, let's see. Can you guys see this? As long as you can see this and not me. All right. Oh, I'm probably going to need glasses for this. <laughs> You want to see what I'm doing here? Yeah, I was gonna say, you act like you want to see. I know. I need to get new glasses. Actually, ones that aren't dollar store readers because I can't see these at all. All right. So here is the buffalo check. Actually, it's a gingham, but same thing. The mesh stencil that I'm gonna be using on this suitcase, and the color again is French toile. Both bungalow. Well, the paints were bungalow 47. And these are Maker Studio stencils. And they kind of, I just took it out of the, the container new, so it comes like this. It's got a little plastic, ooh, 
Thumb still hurts a little bit. <laughs> Not as bad though. It's got a little plastic strip in the back that these stay on. And that's gonna take the whole hour. There we go. <laughs> and you probably saw us do the tables and um Oh, the oh, Sue's yeah. tables, yep. In the Buffalo check. And just think about that process versus this one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this. So it comes off. And again, these are stencils that you don't have to tape down, those hard plastic ones like you had to do in the old days. These are mesh stencils, reusable, easy to clean. So I'm going to obviously line this top up. I'm just gonna kind of come from here down and over. Yeah, so. like on mine, on mine, I took mine out of the kitchen and just used over the weekend. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. So I'm gonna try and line this up to the best of my ability. I'm trying to feel where this part is. So the one important, really important thing when you wash these, because you can give them a good wash and a good scrub. Okay. Um, the one important thing is that you let them dry face down. Yes. So that when the sticky reactivates, that it's not on a paper towel. Yeah, you don't want to have it all dried with paper towel fuzzies all over the place. That is the one thing that could ruin your stomach. Yeah, for sure. I'm just trying to line this up really sight unseen on the edge. Oh, that looks crooked to me. Does it look crooked? It feels crooked because this doesn't feel like it's close. Hang on, I'm getting there, Miss Sue. Ooh, that feels better. You got this. Feels kind of better. There we go. Is that okay? I think so. Looks all right to me. And you just want to get it down good because obviously all the spots that are grayed in are not going to show. I had to think about that for a second. I'm trying to get it as close to the edge of the leather as I can. And it's, yeah, it's kind of close. Ooh, there's paint there that's still wet. All right, and I'm just gonna actually use a stencil brush and not a uh, not a cling on to apply this, just so I can. You're kinda actually give, gonna use a squeegee. Can give some. What's that? You're gonna use a. You wanna use the squeegee? You want me to? Well, all right. If you're gonna be sassy about it. It's getting all interesting with it. I don't know. This is different. This is another product. Um, it's a redesign with Prima squeegee, and we use this for a lot of the um, chalk paste too. It kind of helps apply it. Um, and you can kind of, it's thicker, so it, you can like fluff it up and make it thicker or thinner. So we'll go ahead and yeah, use that for this. One or bubble on the right. Or do you have a small, that's not a stencil brush. I mean, well, this is what I always use. I guess I can use the small one. If you prefer to use a stencil brush, you can, but All right. use the actual stencil brush. All right, that would be this little guy right here. That makes you more comfortable. All right. That's cute, but I'm not going there. All right. <laughs> So. I won't make her do new things on camera all the yeah, time. The one little bubble on the middle right. Middle right. Right there. Oh, I feel it. Up, up, right there. There you go. Because that would have bled right under. All right. Yep, you're right about that. You know what I will use this for is just to make sure this is down. All right. You know what? It's paint. Worst case, yeah. But here we go. And I'm just starting with the lid because... Hey, Jody just chimed in with a hey, ladies. Hello, Hello. Miss Jody. What's happening, woman? All right. I'll bet y'all be able to use most of the lid paint alone, and that's it. I won't even have to probably do much dipping into the container itself. Yeah, that's a lie. I probably will. All right. And the whole point is to just get this whole front uh, in this pattern, so when I'm done here, then I'll take the stencil and move it over so the left-hand side of the stencil lines up with the right-hand side of where I've painted. At least that's the plan. We'll see what happens. So now on mine, I'm gonna go right over this little rip here. I'm just gonna put this right over it and try to push it down as much as I can. You wanna try and put some glue on there just to help hold it down? Okay. And again, obviously these are decorative. They're not meant to use, so they're just kind of sitting out pretty. As long as you're not being crazy with them, it should be fine. Boy, that is an annoying noise. Shaking the table. Yeah. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. Shake it. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your table. Shake it, don't break it. All right, totally live, getting into the container now. 
Ooh, get off there, buddy. All right. So anyway, you didn't say, guys, what did y'all do this weekend? Any thrifting? Any yard sales? Any dumpster diving? Well, we know what Natalie did. All the things that I love to do. Right? What'd you say? We know what Natalie did. <laughs> yeah. She had a good weekend. It was the it was the Monday cleaning that got her. Yes, bless her heart. I hope that's a quick heal. That does not sound fun. Oh, this is interesting. I got a diet here. Let's see. Another funky illustration. No, I have a diet. Oh, a diet. I thought you said a guy. A diet. Hmm. Let's see. For dinner, we have avocado and grapefruit salad. Ugh. Golden fruit dressing. Herb roasted chicken, short cooked shredded cauliflower, peas with fresh milk, honey ice cream. I'm down for that one. Ooh, that sounds right. And your choice of beverage, either either a demi tasse or milk or tea. What is the first thing you said? Demi tasse. I don't know yeah. what that is. Isn't that like a? Isn't that almost like a latte or something? I mean, I know that's like a little Thank short, you know. short coffee, I think. Hmm. Yeah, like a cappuccino or something. Yeah, okay. I wonder what year that book was. Mm. All right, Jody says, uh, did you all hear that start today at five o'clock? Masks are required to be worn in Jacksonville in all public spaces. Yep, heard it, definitely heard it. And I also, Jody hit up a community yard sale on Saturday. Did you get some good stuff? She always gets good stuff. I know it, she's like you, man, you guys Is find that stuff. what she needed all those Klingon markers for this weekend? I don't know, she has, Lots of brushes in general. She loves the Klingons. She's a fantastic painter. She's always painting, so she needed more brushes. Yeah. I've got to get to a yard sale. I actually passed two estate sales this weekend and just kept on driving. Good for you. I know, I was good. I slowed down, but then I said, nope, nope. kept on going. I was here teaching all weekend. I'll do it. Yeah, that class was classes were great success the final products look pretty freaking awesome yeah i did share some i've got some more pictures to share i'll do another little tiktok video i'm really trying to work my tiktok yes you are you need to get jakey in here maybe maybe, maybe he can help us too in the middle of his two jobs he's such a hard worker he's such a good guy all right so this is this okay question on this if i'm using the same one taking it off you'll want to dry that section before i even take the, the no take, off, take, take it, it off and, and then dry it and then move it okay and so will i have to clean the stencil in between? no i don't think so just all right, all right let's upside down and all right we're going to take this off the first one and i'm going to give it a dry let's see how we did here Ooh, look how pretty how oh, cute is that? Nice. Okay, so I'm just face down, drying, yeah. and doing the same thing. All right, I'm gonna grab my hot gun. Oh, that's pretty close on the edge there. Pretty close. concerned about just trying more or less this part because I have to overlap and start from there over to the next one so that's kind of where I'm going to focus drying. Did you just walk past the camera? Yes, I just walked right in front of 
I'm right in front of it. Like, we're not even here. It's fine. Whoop. Nicole Gaffney just posted she did a little thrifting. She scored an old solid wood round coffee table on wheels for 12 bucks. Ooh, Ooh, very nice. nice. She might do something DIY to it. She's watching for some inspo. Very, very cool. We're going to do our best to inspire you. All right, let me give this a thought here. So the next one, why is my brain not working? Okay, so this would go, wait, here? Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, let's do that, because that's going to be every other one. Okay. I'm just, I'm just going to talk myself through this. Don't mind me. Okay. No, sometimes right. you really have to. Yeah, I, I, what the heck? Okay, so that's that. That is there. My front is almost dry where I can actually stencil. Oh, look at that. Good. Look how good you did that. How does that look? Is that all right? Done. Now this is still wet, which is okay, because if I'm touching this and it gets on the suitcase, it's only going to go through to the spots that I'm painting that color anyway. Alright. Ah, uh, and we got um, word on Friday afternoon that all of our um, Tim Holton right right Tim. all the ranger ink all the that straight that's not straight holt Tim holtz oh that's right the other one is Tim Horton. Is Horton is, we're not we're not donuts we're, we're not donuts and coffee got it we're not canadian we donuts always and coffee. do that <laughs> um but the tim holtz ranger ink alcohol inks all shipped so they are headed our way and Heather will be teaching alcohol ink art classes, Woo which are going to be so much fun. Yes, they are. Oh my gosh, just the art you create with it. That's just amazing. I love it. And uh, she and I may come and do a little live too for people who are not local. So you can see and you can order from our website. Awesome. Which is ravehomecollection.com. Yes, yes, yes. I feel like that's not going to be perfectly straight, but it's going to be straight enough. And you know what you could do if it's not? You can kind of sand across the top, make it all blend, distress it a little bit. It looks good from here. Okay, good. Maybe my brain is just not. Your brain is crooked? My brain might be crooked. I mean, you might be seeing it go up just a little bit to the right, but it's not so It's not like bad. this. It's not like I would have done it. Okay. <laughs> There's Miss Sue again, going for my job. You did do it better than I do, so. No, 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 no. I would have no, no, really no, messed no. it up. She, she really did. did. I, I would have gummed up the works on that one. <laughs> well, I don't know. When we peel this off, that'll be the moment of truth. I love her, and she is my BFF, but um, your job is safe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that noise annoying anybody yet? <laughs> nah. I'm trying to be quick. How you doing over there, Miss Melissa? I'm getting there. I'm getting Alrighty. there. Alrighty. This uh, decoupage is not is not necessarily speedy. Right. But I really need the other side to be dry before I go putting a stencil over it. Correct. Yeah. So I figure I just keep going around. I was gonna say if you get to a point where you need the gun, the hot gun, you just let me know. Yeah. I just don't want it to warp it or. Yeah. Whatever. I mean, I I will if I need to, but I'm. Okay. Done. But I also know the stencil will take no time, so. Right. Yeah, this is cool. This is like, I'm picturing this on a floor. <laughs> picturing this on drawer fronts. The title of this page is Your Day of Beauty-Full Eating. That's the title? What the heck year is that book? That's bizarre. All right. I'm just saying an apricot or um, what was an avocado and grapefruit salad. Yeah, I, mean, I love avocado and I don't mind grapefruit, but two of them together. That's Ugh. so weird. Oh, All right, moment of truth here. Uh, okay, I'm rooting for you. All right, rooting for go. you. Rooting for you. Rooting for you. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Whoop. I probably didn't want to double dip on that one. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. That's fine. All right, it's okay. Okay, I'm not going to focus on that so much right now. I'm going to try and get down in this area and get the bottom at least. So let me just do a quick dry here again. So I can work on this area. Eh, I, I could even 
220 sand grit over this, so this isn't so heavy in here. It'll be, it'll be lovely. And you know what? People color, don't even notice. And plus we're putting a transfer on this too, right? So. Page directions, read those funny pages. <laughs> 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 now she has to go down the stairs to the back staircase and go right. back up. Or you can just walk slowly across. Come on. You know every time I'm out here, I just come on. shop. Come say hello. Well, stop shopping. Or keep Hi. shopping. I know. I haven't had a full check since I've started here. I'm buying everything. All right. We're going to try this. Okay. Why is my... I'm still not... Sue, don't leave me. So, okay. Like here... Up mm -hmm. a little. But I mean, this would be over. Right? Yes, that would be. All right, so let's just see if we can find it like this. Can I edit that? That looks funny. There we go. I'll tell you, stenciling takes practice, that's for sure. It does. It's for, oh, and that is really wet. Okay. There's a piece of fuzz there. You're shedding on it. I'm shedding. Oh, oh. I'm shedding. Okay. It's on there, so we're just going for it. And I'm gonna go right, I think, down to there. And again, this is pretty wet, but it's only gonna have paint go through where I want the paint anyway, so I'm just going for it. Painter's hands right there. You and I seem to have that problem on a regular basis. Yeah. Well, it's happened in my hair lately. I mean, that's something. Yeah, I mean, that really is saying something because I have had much paint in my hair. Fusion is probably my least favorite because... I think you might be a little high up on the right hand side. Do you? Well, yeah, I was doing something this weekend and I, I went like this with my hair and just totally streaked it. <laughs> I think we're going for it in this too. All right. I think. Right. I, it, it's kind of showing through there anyway, so we're going for it. We've got this. Home stretch, people. Let's see what we can do. down to the bottom there. What are you guys thinking so far? I saw a little uh, laughy face go by, so I think that might okay. be an indication. Uh, indication <laughs> of they like it or they're laughing because we get pain in our hair all the time and they're just giggling at us probably. Yeah, it's probably that one. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm betting on that I'm one. thinking the same. But that's okay. Because I would rather have painting my hair and clothes and oh you missed my my hairstyle yesterday oh my god it was your hairstyle oh wow you miss sue what did you do to yourself i was i was trying to keep the my hair from flopping in my face as i was painting so i took a hairband and basically clipped all of my hair up at the top of my head <laughs> like pebbles and uh, flintstones no not that cute uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Heather and Anna, like, like Heather was probably snoring was, laughing. Was literally doubled over laughing. <laughs> Did anybody get a picture of this? No. Ah, oh, people. But ask Heather about it. it I was, will. Yeah. She'll she'll probably start. Like she was literally doubled over laughing. That's pretty funny. She needed like the ch the table to hold her. I guess I had some <laughs> wild hair sticking out and big poofs here and there. I just can't picture you with a little pony floof on top of your head. Well, that anyway. was it. Is, I mean, you know, part of it is. Whether the hair was so funny or not, we don't know. But on Miss Sue. Yeah, for sure. It's that's hysterical. Funny. That's funny. I just can't paint with hair in my face. We might need to relive that moment for everybody, Miss Sue. And, and I will, because I really enjoyed wearing my hair. Okay. Oh. So so here's mine so far. I still have some small areas. Ooh. And I still have the sides. But I think we're 
coming along pretty nicely. Stretch. Oh, for sure. Right? I love how it's yellowing some of the pages. Yeah. I think it just gives it a nice vintage look. All right, I'm gonna try this one. So I'll try to do it like this. So ah. you guys still can't see, but. Oh yeah, nice. oh yeah. All right, I'm sorry, I'm proud of myself. All right, so I'm going to center my, do it your stencil now. Okay. I got a little overly excited. I'm a little off on the sides, but oh well. Nicole says that she does pottery and she'll get clay in her hair all the time. She said she was oh. getting strange looks in public until she felt her hair and had a big brown muddy streak in it. <laughs> oh. All right, that's the winner because I think that's worse than fusion paint. I think people probably thought it was food. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, it's 25. Who happens? That's too funny. This is just kind of blends it off the bottom, which is fine. I just kind of wanted it to have a faded look. I've made an executive decision. Uh oh, what are you doing? I'm changing it up. Oh, she's changing it up midway. Oh boy. All right. A spark of creativity is hit her. That is Melissa for you. Did you all Last hear that? Last minute decisions, and they're always good. That's a t-shirt. Who happens? <laughs> <laughs> we need these t-shirts, Miss Sue or Jessica. You help us with Heather, t Heather, t Heather, Heather, Heather. Yeah, Heather, that's true. She could Come illustrate it for her. She draw actually them out. does the, the screen right. printing or the yeah, t-shirt making. The, um, what is it called, Heather? Are you watching? Over one. Over, wait, this way? Oh, yeah. There's a word for it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see, you're right. All right. Sublimation, sublimation. 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 Oh, this is gonna make or break this. Sublimation. Bunch of duck in a truck. Okay, here we go. I mean, that's interesting. Oh, well, the actual phrase is not. Not, yeah. Okay. Not suitable for children? Not suitable. Not suitable for our Monday. We're not gonna be able to share this again, <laughs> so. So the issue I'm having right now with my tape is this is a little cool. And I remember that, that first line down, you don't wanna paint that one. I do not want to paint this one. That's right, because it made it super dark. You're right. Good job, Miss Sue. Yeah, keeping an eye on your work. Thank you. You should have done that first time. You, but if you did it now, then it'll match. Of course, that's true, because I did get that far down. It's going to look funny if that one's really dark, because I painted it twice, and this one's not, well, you think. Okay. And then I can just sand over both a little bit to make them lighter. Good call, Miss Jessica. Sorry, Miss Sue, you're overruled. I'm here for something. You're overruled on that one, but they she's right. It won't let me do anything. If I screwed up one, I gotta screw up the yeah, other one. Yeah, you don't want to be on here doing things. It's not that we won't let you do anything. Because I didn't clean one paintbrush. Oh, <gasps> you didn't. Oh, that is a that is a not good thing. She's being a blasphemer over here. I'm telling you, <laughs> I have forgiven you. I have forgiven you. You you can you can go ahead and paint again. I'm gonna master it. You yeah. actually do. A really Your probation good job, is Jessica. over. Probation, poor Jessica. Don't ask. I don't even know. Yeah, I'm paying attention over here to line up, and I'm not even looking at what's happening over there. She just oh keeps playing with tape. She's gonna. Are you gonna do your own pattern? Hmm? Are you putting a pattern on there? Mm -hmm. Stay tuned, folks. From here, and then we dry and we transfer. Yeah, Nicole, I'm guessing it's going to be stripes too, but I haven't stood up to look at it. Some kind of a maybe different grain sack stripe, or ooh, little eyebrows are moving. Mm -hmm. Little kitten brow over there. All right, that tape doesn't stick very well to to the wet decoupage. No, it doesn't. That could be a problem, okay. but I'll try to be gentle. Give it a go. Gentle is not usually Here's my a light tip. brush. Oh, Woo! -hoo! Except I gotta figure out how to line that. But you know what? I'll do that after as well. Only because this I stencil. I think you need to show us. Well, you this just... stencil is really wet. I mean, you can wipe it down a little bit with paper towels. Do you think that's all right? All right. Well, I'm gonna go clean it real quick. If you want to, Miss Sue, that will be fantastic while I'm drying. All right, I'm out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Although it'll be all wet, I won't be able you to dry can... it. 
Uh, and then you can just wipe it off the paper towel afterwards. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna dry this right now, and then Miss Sue's gonna get me the stencil, and I'll just fill in these little spots, and then we'll be ready for our transfer. That still doesn't look like it went over it twice, though. I don't know what I did this last time. will be clear, not huh. the color that you're working. Now, I'm not 100% sure that that trick is gonna work on here. Can I have it here? Just simply because this glue isn't sticking, or this tape isn't like, sticking very well right to the decoupage. Um, and I don't want it to stick really well because I don't want it to tear my decoupage either. But I'm gonna try to... Seen it here first, people. Ooh, I like this kind of. I'm just gonna try to be super careful. The magic I of live, careful. people. What? Is that the magic of live? Mommy, what you need? I need your twelve. You can have my twelve. I won't wear that kind of glasses. That's a set. Candy and it's mm -hmm. a little, I can, it'll be a little, a little easier to dry brush, a little less moisture. Right. Yeah, and this definitely does have much more gray undertones than like a duck egg blue, yeah. which we love anyway. I don't care what you say. We love it. No matter what John has to say about it. I don't care what John says. He's not the, well, all right, he might actually be, but still, I don't care what He's he says. He's not the boss of me. That's true. That's he kind of is the boss of her a little bit. Yeah. And it, he's, yeah. He's up there a little. A little bit. It's okay. Just because he's kind of part of it. I mean, you know, you own the place and you think you have some say or something. I don't know. But he doesn't. <laughs> we just like to let him think he does. Mm -hmm. It's just <laughs> easier if he does. It really is. It's easier. <laughs> oh, Miss Sue! And he's in there talking, so he's not watching right now. <laughs> Or he might still at the sink. I can see her. And this, well, we'll just let you guys know what's going to happen after all of this. So this will all be checkered. It will be dry. And again, it's just the blue toile, which is kind of more gray undertones on the cream. And is this black? Yeah. So this transfer, it's called Moment. It's a redesign with Prima. And that is the transfer right there. And we're going to stick that puppy right in the center of the suitcase. I don't know why all of a sudden I'm talking Southern, but that's just what happened. So, which I guess technically I don't even need to finish that side. I can just start rolling out my transfer. Oh, there's Miss Sue. All right. Sorry, it took a little while. That's all right. I'm not even sure I got all that clean. That's all right. It's better than it was. I just, I can always just 220 so sand back over side, this. On the back side, do like this, like, you know, like the part that's sticky. What yeah, you yeah you use want? your finger to push the water off of it. Okay. Let me do that. All right, look out, Miss Sue. Yeah, there's still a little pain in there. Sorry. That's all right. It's better than it was. I just want to make sure I don't smear anything. Again, even if it smears a little bit in here or whatever, I'll probably do a quick 220 over this just to make it even more faded like you're seeing in spots here and maybe fade up some of this dark area where I, like I a little faded spot. screwed it up. I like the faded too, so. What is happening over there in Ooh, Fancy World? That is Fancy World. I like it. All right, so let's, okay. Sue, be my eyeballs, please. Um, All right, so look, first line to be a stripe. 
Okay, so wait, so this. So any of them will do. So right here. If you okay. want to keep it more balanced so that you, you have, well, here, I'll hold it. Okay. You you put it on there and I'll hold this side for you okay. while you paint it. Okay, wait a minute, let me. Right, so teamwork, man. All right, teamwork makes the dream work. gonna go to the edge right there. Yeah. It's still a little further than the other one, but that's all right. Where's the brush? And I'm using chalk paste. So can you get that low battery? Oh, you can't. Jessica, can you get the low battery? I knew I should have checked your phone. <laughs> all right. Just close it. Just take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. So um, I'm using the uh, the Maker Studio chalk paste okay, with it. the little Prima squeegee. Oh, that's cool. It looks good. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna blend in, but it makes it vintage. -y. It does kind of look like that. It's already All right. pretty distressed. And so then we're gonna go. I like the little squeegee. Is that what you're using for Queen Bee over there? Yep, yep. Very nice. Mm. What color is the paste? So this paste is we all have funny names. Preaching to the choir. They are, they are great names. All right. Which is basically black. Because I love a good crisp black. I do too. I love it distressed too, like on furniture. Mm -hmm. I love that. Especially with the little uh, laurel leaf type things. Yeah. You need your, did you have what you need? over there? Yes, I do. I'm sorry. Okay. okay. I just need a little bloop. Thank you. A bloop. Just a little bloop. bloop, 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 bloop. Right. A little bloop will doop. A little bloop will doop it. So, uh, anybody else out there collect suitcases? I swear, I must have, I don't know, what do you think, 20, 30? One million? <laughs> oh, I mean, 24. Can we count the, the baskets as suitcases? No, the baskets separate? are separate. That's a whole different addiction. Oh, no, you got it. Okay. Got it? Okay. Here we go. Thank you. Baskets so. are entirely different addiction. Yeah. Okay. Similar. Well, that's not too bad. All right. So, we're going to set this over here. I'll, I'll say it looks cute from this way. Thank you. All right, so I'm looking at it in the. Oh, you're. That's true. All right. Um, let me grab that heat gun real quick. I'll do it a quick once over. And then we'll hit the transfer. Make sure you'll do a sand first. Oops, feeling the beat. That would be really cute in our window display up front. Adorable! match but they don't matchy match which I like. Mm -hmm. Alright, we do we have time for me to put a transfer on? Yeah yeah. Okay. okay. I know oh, we have plenty of time. Take right. a pause on the side here. So let's see what we have going on here. I mean you know we are at an hour right now but okay. you guys don't mind watching. All We're right. good. You'll either watch or you'll turn out either way. Um, and for mine mine's I'm gonna finish decoupaging the sides here and then I also want to give the whole thing a top coat. I'm just going to do to the moment. And I've got some little tiny areas to fill in as well. Buddy. All right, do you have the scissors over there? Yes, I do. Sue, so I'm going to ask for your assistance once more, please. Okay, you could just hold this because I'm going to do from here up on the suitcase. So I'm just going to cut this right there. So do you guys like the idea of how we refinish these suitcases? I know I do. I think they're cute. All right, I'm gonna actually lay this down. Yeah, yeah it's so much easier when it's like. Yeah. 
dry on the back. Now again, you're not going to see the painted bottom because I didn't do that. I was waiting for the rest to dry. Obviously, we will paint that before we put this on the floor. Um, like yeah, we could totally lighten this so it doesn't look so heavy. You know what? Then let me get it. 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 We were talking about it. I think it's right here. But we have like sheets of sandpaper back there. Black closer. I just almost flung my brush on the other Oh, well, it's just that top plate, so that's not it. It's not even okay, but it's been very nice. Not enough grit for my liking. a little over that if I wanted to, even if the little bits of it came up, it would just add to the aged look. That's right. These mm -hmm. transfers can totally be distressed. Yep. Right, so this is the portion that I, I love that. decided to use that's going to go on top of my suitcase. And as you can see, again, it comes with a little, almost like a wax paper sheet behind it. You want to make sure that this doesn't touch itself or it this will transfer stick will stick and you will be ruined. So. And you might remember Sue doing that in the previous episode. Yes, which is why I still have a job. So, hi! <laughs> My niece and her girlfriend just came in. Sorry, you can hang out. I don't want that tarp, girl. I do not want that tarp. All right, I'm gonna lay this down in the So I've laid it down. I'm going to take my stick and slowly roll this off. And again, I'm not super, super concerned if every little piece comes off because I'm probably just going to sand some of it off anyway. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to give it a roll. Go shopping. <laughs> Oh, that'd be fun. Oh, that would be neat. Give it a little pop. I don't think we have time on air, but no. But we'll definitely show you all the finished products here, of course. But we're trying to get you the gist here. And our goal isn't necessarily for you to, you know, even make a similar project. It's just to give you ideas on on what you can do with some of the things that we can sell here. Exactly. Let us be your Pinterest. We will be your inspiration. And seriously, we watch, you know, if you guys post things and have projects, send them because we are always inspired by others' work as well, for sure. Absolutely. And if you do try one of our projects, please oh, yes. definitely let us. Absolutely. We would love to see that. Yeah. Okay. Chances are you're doing it better than me. So, just saying. All right. I mean, probably for sure better than you. I was going to say, it couldn't be any worse than me. Aw, still. Gonna ride the wave on this, so to speak. So I'm kind of pushing off and pulling up the paper. I touched it. Did actually coming off better than I thought it was going to. If I'm being honest. Yeah. Sometimes when we don't have to give it proper drying time, it just kind of goes no. It's like no. I'm not I'm experienced. That. Right Been there, done that. Especially with the little details like the scroll work, sometimes that's a little more tricky. But again, I'm not super concerned. As long as my letters are legible, I'm going to probably just stress a little bit of this anyway. So. And even if they're not, we don't know what they say. You know what they French. say? I don't know. Whoops, like that you. Thank you, buddy. There we go. I don't know what they say. You, they say. you guys might. If somebody out there is French and you see this and you're like, uh, you're missing an A. And this just shows, too, 
too, like, you know, you don't have to just do a stencil or just do a transfer. You can, you can, you can layer them. You can layer, for sure. I love the layer. Yeah. I don't do enough of that with things like this. I'm going to make it into a house. I can do some fancy stuff. You'll see. Yeah, John's getting ready to go out of town, and we're ready to start... Uh, Sue and I are ready to start DIY in the house because he doesn't like the work happening when he's home because then he feels like he either has to participate or he doesn't like it because I tend to do it late at night when I get home right. and then he likes his house to be quiet and calm. And he doesn't really like the, the middle of the night work. All right. He wants to sleep. Ta-da! Ta Can you all see this? Oh, now this one would be really cute with some like antique wax, uh, some yeah, not 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 the wax, but the antiquing like, gel, the like the fusion antique. antiquing gel. I gotcha. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, burnish it all in. And there. what I'm gonna do is just burnish this on there. And actually, I just pulled off a little of the hue, which again is fine. Burnishing just means you're taking like a paper towel or a cloth or something, and just making sure everything's stuck because sometimes there's some air bubbles in there and it doesn't quite adhere all the way. You just want to make sure that it does. And again, some of this, I mean, I can actually wipe some of this and it's, the letters are coming off, which I'm cool with because I want it to be distressed. It saves me time from sanding. See my little teeth. I love them and think they're beautiful. Thank you Yay, so thank much. You. So that is the end of that one. And what I'll do obviously is paint the bottom and maybe do a little bit of antiquing. Yeah, we've got to definitely do some sanding and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, and top coat because we want to seal this. It is still chalk paint, so. What are you thinking, lady? I love it. I think we did I a think nice they job. Both came out real cute. Mm -hmm, for sure, and they'll be for sale right here at Rave Home Collection. So keep your eyes open. We'll post pictures of the total finished product. Yeah, and again, if you try a project that's like ours, you know, if you try to use some of these techniques, we would love to see. How yes, you do, absolutely. You do. We'll even share your posts. That's right. Yes, we and we'll sure do it. Well, we are going to sign off for now. Um, so. We'll be back Wednesday for our Thrift Hall Wednesday, so look forward to that yep, and our big announcement. And don't forget on Wednesday morning we'll be dropping that um, live, or not live, it'll be a YouTube uh, only video that is a DOI video, and I think you'll really like it. Yay! See you guys Wednesday. Thanks for watching. We love your support. Peace out. Bye. Thanks.